Hello guys. Now we are going to demonstrate this piece of work. This shaft we will consider it as a worm shaft. It has three starts with a lead of one inch. So we will divide one inch to three starts to make this worm shaft. Okay. Now we are going to calculate the gears for this lead. We have the lead which is uh, one inch twenty five. Point four millimeter we will divide it to the ratio of the dividing head which is forty by five which is the lead of the x axis for the milling machine that means we will divide the lead twenty five point four now we will say twenty five point four divided to two hundred equals zero point one two seven from this ratio we will try to find the leader gears and follower gears for the quadrant arm of the milling machine here we are going to the milling machine this is the quadrant arm this is the leader gear and this is the follower gear this is a leader gear these two gears are on one bin this is a leader and this is intermediate gear can be one gear for uh, the right-handed screw or two gears for the left-handed screw and this is the follower gear which is attached to the dividing head to the ratio of the dividing head okay this is the quadrant R we will try to Calculate these gears with the formula. This formula is a simple formula. The follower gear, which is this, this one. divided to the leader gear which is this one on the x-axis okay we will say by the follower gear which is this one divided by the leader gear 
the another one leader gear which is this one okay so we will assume this gear which is the follower and we divide it to this gear which is the leader okay then we will assume this gear which is the follower and we divide it to this gear which is the leader so as the formula we will say this gear divided to this gear by this gear divided to this gear and we will think out of the box okay according to the gears which i have in my quadrant box i assumed these gears to find the ratio the first one give me a ratio with 0 0.118 the second one give me a ratio with 0 0.093 and the third one I changed the left gear and the ratio up again to 0 0.119 so I tried to change the 30 T's gear to 32 and then I reach it to this ratio which is good for me After installing the gears in the quadrant R, we have to test. So we adjust this handle to zero, this line, and we adjust the micrometer zero to this arrow, and we will turn here. 40 turns 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Here we have 5 turns and point 0 0.4 See point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point 0.4 this is a good lead. Uh, BS here. If you don't want to, to take the assuming method from the calculator directly, you could go back to the traditional method of analysis to identify gears. So you will take two numbers, okay, like this, we are taking two numbers only to make it simple, we will analyze this number, two, four by three, And this number 10 by 10. We will duplicate all in the same number. I choose a large gear for the lead from the x axis, which is a leader gear. So I will choose a gear. 
that number of teeth 127 okay and uh, I will make this ratio multiplication in 12.7 okay so here we have a calculator for four by twelve point seven equal fifty. We will put fifty here by three by twelve point seven equal we will put thirty eight and here will give us one two seven by one two seven These gears give me that ratio, which is near, so I will make small change with gears. Here, I uh, maybe 40, 40 teeth will be good. We will see. Here is the ratio. We are very near. We can move this 40 to 41. So, this gear gives us that ratio, which is the same ratio that we need. Now we can take these gears to the quadrant R, follower and the leader, follower and a leader, and the other gear, follower and the leader, follower and a leader, and so on. You can identify gears the way you like. Thanks. This is how I measure the lead for the wall one inch three starts now we are going to calculate the degree of the wall the degree of the wall to adjust the milling table when milling the wall the formula is warm angle equal module by number of starts divided to outside diameter of the warm minus 2 by module. Then the result will shift 10 the result you will f you will find the angle degree for the wall the module is 2.695 
pi 3 starts divided to outside diameter of the worm is 30 minus 2 by the module 2.695 then you will find the result is 8.085 divided to 24.61 when you shift it in this result 1.81 and by solving it you will find the degree is 18 degree and 11 minutes okay so we adjust the swivel angular to 18 degree and put it straight with the worm you will find the degree angle is about 18 degree